Well, sometimes there are three, sometimes there are two. Oh, okay. It uh, depends on how uh, how busy they were in the factory at the moment. <laughs> because, you know, okay. That's how it goes. So you never played the piano before, did you? No. No. Well, the first thing is that um, I'll teach you the note D. All right. You, it'll be very useful in this piece. So you have D here and D here. So in the middle of it are the twos. Exactly. This. That's you're a natural, I would say. <laughs> now we're gonna play, to, uh, we'll oh, play together. It. Forehand. This is called forehand piano. We play with four hands. Oh, okay. uh, I have two, and you two. Okay. And we play a Swedish piece called Swedish Rhapsody. You, you go ahead. Good. Now. Now. Great. You can continue doing that. Please have a seat. Okay. This is a piano. <laughs> These are called keys. You're Danish, right? Right. Yeah, so we can do this in English. <laughs> yeah. um, did I tell you my name, by the way? Magnus. Yeah, Magnus. In Danish, Magnus, Magnus is my Swedish name. My, Danish name is Magnus. my American English name is Magnus. <laughs> So, uh, you have any specific tune you would like to learn? Uh, I'd like okay, to... let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did that one. Yes, it's a piece, very famous piece by Beethoven named Fidelis. Okay. So, if you play that. <laughs> don't mind that, it doesn't matter. So, let's play. Now, here's a performance. Malena and Paulus are playing together Fidelise by Beethoven. Okay. Yeah. Stop, 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 no, 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 that was too many. It's only... Okay, now. Yes, exactly. Stop. Now. Stop, stop, stop. Now, I will play the rest because it's kind of tricky. The, um, uh, face the back towards the piano, okay. and then you find the, the, the pitch C. C? That's the one. This one? Yes. Okay. Now, and then you just play this rhythm. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Viking Battle of Upper Greenland. So I played it again, and then the couple said, I do, and live happily ever. Okay, no, they didn't say I do, because this was over in Sweden, and in Sweden they say, yeah, which, which means yes. 
<laughs> you see, it's not I do or I don't over there, it's simply yes or no. I do sounds to me a little less certain somehow than yes. Yes is yes. I do always seem to be followed by a but. <laughs> With one key, of course. Do you like Beethoven's Second Symphony? I do, but I think this is my favorite. Uh, could you help me move this weekend? Uh, yes, I, I, I do, but uh, I can't. My back hurts. <laughs> do you take this man to be your husband? I do, but I'd rather marry his cousin. <laughs> anyway, it's good to know. You never know when a Swedish person might propose to you. <laughs> if you have any thoughts at all about marrying a Dane, you should know that in Denmark, the question that you will be asked at the altar is slightly different. Namely, is it at all possible that you have made a mistake when choosing this man to be your husband? <laughs> of course, you're supposed to answer no, it's not possible, but... In Finland, in Finland they don't say anything at all. They just look at each other. The priest looks at the bride, then at the groom, and then it's settled. <laughs> In Norway and Iceland they had the same tradition. It's an old Viking ritual in which the father of the bride wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning on the day of the wedding, goes out in his fishing boats and catches three herrings. He pickles them and puts them on a table. Now, during the ceremony, the bride picks up one of the herrings and gives it to the groom. If he eats it up, it's a yes. If he eats the whole herring except the head, it means he needs to think this one over one more time. And finally, it's a no if he takes the herring and gives it to his mother. Now, usually when this happens, the mother takes the herring, slaps her son in the face three times, after which she returns it to him, indicating that he'd better make another decision. If that decision is a yes, then he picks up the remaining two herrings from the table, wraps them up in the local newspaper, and offers them to the bride. <laughs> and if she accepts, then they go home together and uh, cook their first meal together, which usually consists of herring. I'm going to finish by reading a poem and this poem is called a backwards poem and uh, in a backwards poem of course everything is backwards so i'm going to read you this out i sleep awake and walk asleep i boil a steak and fish a sheep i eat with a straw and drink with a fork i hammer with a saw and saw with a slice of roasted pork <laughs> musical interlude for your enjoyment. <laughs> the sun is cold and made of wood. Springtime is old and grandpa smells good. <laughs> the horse says meow, the dog moves. Woof woof says the cow, oink oink claims the muse. Straight line bent, the oblivious is aware, a castle is a tent. The desert is rainy and has no sand, a man whose brainy thinks with his left hand. And when it rains, the sky is blue, there are mountains and the plains, I feel great, it's the flu. <laughs> Scandinavia has never seen a snow flurry. A canvas has never seen Vega.